Hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the South East Coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 3rd of January 2022 and this is episode number 91. So we're back to normal. <laughs> Okay, where you can find me would be all down in the description box, you know, Instagram, Facebook, my Etsy shop, everything will be down there in the description box. And anything that I mentioned today will also be down in the description box. We have a lot to talk about today, I have things to show you, so I think we better just hop right in. Apparently, I see the weather this morning and it's supposed to go cold tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say at that one. <laughs> So yeah, let's fingers crossed they've actually got it right for once, eh? Because this warm weather is not right in this time of year, is it? Not at all. Right then, so today we actually had to say we have a full schedule. We have some knitting to show you, cross stitch. What have you been up to? I have my lovely friend has sent me in two photographs and I can show them now because she sent me in before Christmas but one of them, well both of them are Christmas presents and one of them was for her daughter and her daughter watches so I said to her don't worry I'll wait till after Christmas is done. <laughs> I also am going to talk about the um, Hadabashery, she's doing the Maker's Dozen 2022 now, I don't normally take a part in anything like that. Like, you know, you make nine and all this. I don't do it. I just don't do it. But this one has actually caught my eye. So I'll talk all about that in a minute. And I've also got a shout out for a new podcaster who uploaded her, um, her video of her a day in her, you know, a day in her life this morning. So I will give her a shout out as well. So let's go into the knitting, shall we? As you all know, on Friday I did a little extra and I showed you my stripy jumper. Well, I've nearly finished the first sleeve and I don't like it. I, I like the plain, I just don't like the shape of the sleeve. So I'm going to rip that all out <laughs> and I'm going to do it again. Um, yeah, I will actually talk about that next week because I'm hoping to get it finished next week. But say now I'm going to be a bit behind. I might be the week after. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, so last night I got, because oh, I got gifted this lovely yarn and these were are my uh, Christmas Eve cast on. And lovely Lady Zila, I have actually spoke about her uh, before, who gifted me this yarn, who brought this from Yarndale this year. And, oh, I just can't put them down. I am loving them so much. So last night, so when I get, when I actually get into the, it was sock, that's it, it's no stopping me. Because um, all I had last night was one, no, I was still doing the first leg. There you go. And I had a cuff done. So by the time I went to bed, I had a whole heel <laughs> put on. And I, I'm using... The leftover yarns that were gifted to me from my other friends, Susan, Judith and Paul. And I also got the other leg done. So now I'm going to, I've already broke off and I've got the pink yarn. I will show you because this is a, uh, this was a mini set from West Greenloft. So I'm going to be putting the heel um, flap on this. <laughs> and then it will be just be the feet. But... I have a plan which I don't normally I just normally go with it but I have a plan and I'm going to write little things down I think this year because all my socks and let's face it if you're a sock knitter you have a number of socks so <laughs> all my socks are quite long I've actually knitted them you know where I can wear them with my ankle boots and I thought um, I have two pairs of shorties which I love I've got a pair of shorties on at the moment when I'm indoors with my slippers I love wearing shorties so what I've thought of doing is, is from this year, I am going to be knitting, because these are not shorties, but these are shorter than my normal socks I knit. Okay. And then, um, so I'm going to get these done and I do a vanilla, just, oh, I'm doing a vanilla sock here and I'm done a two by two rib because that is my favourite and I've only done from here to here I think it was, hang on, one, two, three, four, yeah it was 50 something rounds then I put it on I just put it up against the foot and these are going to be perfect for my shoes 
And then what's left over from these, because there is going to be some left over, I will do a pair of shorties. So what I'm planning on doing is, if I'm is using all my stash, which that will come later, using all my stash and out of a ball of wool, obviously adding heel, toes and cuffs, yeah, and then getting a pair like this length out of a ball of wool and a pair of shorties. That is my plan. So then by the end of the year, I should have a nice number of <laughs> like a medium height socks and some short socks. So I'll have some longer ones, medium ones and short ones. We'll see if that works, shall we? <laughs> but yeah, that is my plan for the year this year. So this is, as I said, the it was the colourway for Yarndale and this was last year's colourway, Hope absolutely beautiful colors look at them they are just gorgeous loving every minute of it so yes this is so these socks are really coming along lovely as i say once i get going that's it there's just no stopping us <laughs> so that is the plan for the year out of one ball of wool with the little extras is to get a um A pair a pair of mediums what i'm going to call medium length and a pair of shorties out of one ball of wool might as well and then whatever is left over because it's bound to be some little bits i will put them in my memory blanket and i'm still keeping up with the memory blanket i'm still putting in a square a day and thoroughly enjoying it so that is also going to be another like a scrappy project through the year Okay then, right, so that is the knitting, as I say, because I've got to frog back the sleeve that I've um, done because I'm not happy with it. It's my fault, I've done the pattern wrong. <laughs> so it's nothing to do with the pattern, it's my fault. <laughs> okay then, right, so cross stitch. Now, for Christmas, Glenn got me, and I can't believe this, he knows, obviously I love my sheep. Everybody loves sheep, don't they? They're just so cute. But I love a moose. Oh, I just think moose are just adorable. And he got me this cross stitch kit. Look at that. And in the kit, obviously, you get the Ada, beautiful colour, all the threads all sorted, all the beads, because this little bit here and here and all around here is all beadwork. And you also get the fluff. For putting on the smoke the chimney smoke coming out of his antlers isn't that gorgeous i don't know where he found it i haven't got a clue it looks like i would say it's called christmas moose the pattern with a kit christmas moose it looks like it's in russian um it's, it's a 13 by 11 inches and all the threads have been cut to 60 centimeter lengths i just think it's beautiful is it if i show you that company pana pa, pana pana but yeah honestly i am just so chuffed with this and i am so excited to get it started but unfortunately i already started one did not and you know i normally have one on the go otherwise i'd have done this right away if i'd have known this was coming i wouldn't have started that other one but hey who <laughs> but yes amongst some other big gifts he got me that for christmas and i just thought i had to show you that right so as you'll know i am doing i did start the hands-on designs it's the hip-hop chalk for and this is the first one that i am doing in while I'm stitching in hand and i will say i am loving it i've managed to get my little um rubbery doofers so that is actually holding that up while i'm stitching which i'll find a lot easier and yeah so but i thought you know i'll do a bit more practice on this one this will be you know it would be sensible and then that one is definitely going to be my next cast on it's got to be as in it will start they say not in cross cross stitch world <laughs> but uh yes so i am enjoying this and I, I am actually seeing already the progress um, of the neatness of the stitches as I'm going along. So just quickly, because I know I, I did show this during December, but just in case 
you know anybody didn't see it I did finish my kaleidoscope now I had done some research because I got a lot of questions I really did about um, the kaleidoscope and um, cross stitch uh, unfortunately because this actually is a lorry holtz this isn't to do with uh, the fat quarter shop this actually is separate this is one of lorry holtz on her own and I, I even looked on her um you know online to see if there was any info of the pattern cross stitch pattern being sold separately to the quilt because in this you get the quilt pattern and the cross stitch pattern but you know not all cross stitches are quilters and vice versa i'm one of the lucky ones that i do do a bit of both but you know not everybody do and you know the cross stitch is absolutely lovely and i was i did manage to finish it so but you know as i say you never know she might get asked a few times and they might release him you know might release it um separate you never know but as i say it's nothing to do with the fat quarter shop it is a um a standalone of the being the bonnet that's it being my bonnet so i still haven't got a frame for it i've got to go and get that but with obviously christmas and everything going on <laughs> But that is my, oops, let's put that down. That is my finish. And I did really, really enjoy doing this. I really, really did. So I used all uh, three DMC. Yeah, so as I say, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed stitching it. It was so much fun. I was really pleased to actually get it done. And all I did is I did... Um, Every other evening, if I remember rightly, I did a bit of me knitting one evening and a bit of the cross stitch the following evening. And that just flew out of the hoop. It was unbelievable how quick that actually flew out of the hoop. <laughs> right then. OK, let's go into. Let me look at my notes. <laughs> and what have you been up to? My lovely, lovely friend, Melanie. Oh my gosh, she is a clever, clever lady, I tell you. Really, really clever lady. And for her daughter for Christmas, because her daughter loves all her made stuff. It's lovely when you get a daughter or a son like that, isn't it? I'm quite lucky, really, because my daughter loves all her socks and stuff like that as well. Um, anyway, she crocheted because she loves bunnies. And uh, she crocheted this lovely toy bunny for her daughter. Um, it's actually made in a style craft. Now, I didn't write it down. It is the merry-go-round, I think this is, um, yarn. And isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. And her daughter did absolutely love it, which I understand. Absolutely brilliant. Also, for a Christmas present for her dad, she knitted this jumper. Cardigan, even. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so absolutely lovely. And the... She did say that the blanket that the jumper is resting on, you know, leaning, laying on, uh, was knit, out, no, it wasn't, it was crocheted from a Aran weight yarn from B&M. There you go, if I remember rightly. But uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant, Melanie. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, you. Very, very clever lady. As I said, oh, her makes her, oh, her colour work in her knitting. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Okay then, right, so as I said earlier on when I first started uh, recording this this morning, that I don't know, I've never done the make nine or nothing like that because I just plod along in the year and do whatever takes me fancy. But now Miranda from, and I will put her down, this is her Instagram, uh, from Hadabashery, has come up with this idea of Maker's Dozen 22. Now, I'm going to read out because I have written down some notes. Now, what it is, is you make 12 projects or more or less. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be as or, you know, uh, in the year using existing stash, finishing a neglected whip or scrappy projects from leftovers. So let's face it. That's where my blanket's definitely going to come into that. All crafts are welcome, which is amazing, especially being an all-rounder like me. You know, a lot of you are all-rounders. That is absolutely perfect. 
and as and you can do as many or as few as you like it doesn't have to be the dozen but you know what i mean that's just what it's called now there is a hashtag on uh, instagram which is hashtag i'll write it here for you makers dozen 2022 now each month there is going to be a giveaway i'm i'm not really into entering for things like that i'm just going to take part and do you know and, and get things done basically um, each month and at the end of the year there is a bonus prize now i last year if you'll notice with my makes i did a lot of like garments you know i did the the two whitmores i've got my stripy one that i've nearly finished um i think i did a short sleeve top as well if i remember rightly i only did the one shawl which was the honeycomb i did a few hats so, you know, it is basically, I, I only did the one shawl, which was the Stephen, I know it was a big shawl, but I only did the one shawl. And I thought, well, this year is going to be a shawl year. So, well, it might be, <laughs> we'll see. So anyway, I've been uh, through my patterns and I have got, when I went to Edinburgh, I brought the night shift. Now, I was planning on doing this because I've always loved the look of this. And it is an expensive shorter knit if you're doing it in, you know, um, the uh, required yarns and so on. But I really didn't realise it was a worsted way. I thought it was <laughs> it was a fingering or DK. Um, and I've actually got in stash some fingering. And I know if I do it in fingering, it's going to be smaller. Man, you normally when you do a thing when you do a shawl in fingering you normally do it on a four a four mil anyway um needle where this is a worsted weight on a five mil so mind you unless you need it tight i'm gonna have a play i might actually be able i might work out and actually do this in a in a fingering or a four ply if anybody has changed the yarn to a different weight please let me know i'd be really interested because i really really would like to make that and also i did buy as well this uh, perky cat socks now i think this is these are so cute that is a uh, yeah it's a cuff down and you've got your what was that no no i'm not giving away anything there so you've got your your cat on the toe and you've got a few cats around there, but you don't have to do those. As I say, and I've got plenty of, as always, plenty of sock yarn. So I could, that's another one where I can use up my bits. And I've got some other shawl patterns and I've got some in my um, library in, in Ralvery. So I'm going to get those out. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to try and use, well, I'm going to use my stash. I've got plenty of cross stitch threads, fabrics, patterns i've got plenty of those so i am gonna this year do everything from stash because this is what i like the idea of and then next year because obviously it's going to save money i can have a splurge <laughs> that's what i'm thinking i'm hoping to um save up this year actually and uh, because i'd love a, a blending it's a blending board for my um spinning because I'm so excited about the spinning. I've fin I've I've done one spool and I'm halfway through another spool uh, of a different uh, colour and I'm hoping to get some of that done later on today and then I'm going to be doing my first Oh my gosh, my my mind's gone blank. What's it called? My first ply i'm gonna be doing my first ply so you never know by next week i might have a little square that i've knitted or something <laughs> or if not i might have a skein i've got a I said to glenn i've got a small nitty noddy and i need to get a big nitty noddy now so um yeah so i've got to get more bag making so <laughs> i can start saving up for my um uh, for a blending board and for the um the larger nitty noddy and yeah excited that is that's really excited and glenn said for my birthday in april he he would get me the um membership for john arban's uh fiber um 
thing they do so uh yeah so then i can get some fibers from them as well so <laughs> exciting i love my wheel absolutely love my wheel <laughs> right then okay so that is it so yeah anybody that's actually interested i am going to put um miranda's logo here because i've gone right off track i wonder if she says any craft no because spinning well, i don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, this is Miranda's um, logo for her um, make Baker's Dozen 2022. I'm trying to get 2022 in my head, and yeah, I am actually I'm I'm hopping on this to see if I can do any everything all the crafts that I do for me and for gifts do out of stash especially if it comes to christmas as well for next for this year yeah that'll be interesting won't it that will be very interesting okay then right so i have a, a quick shout out and i have watched her this morning lovely lovely friend of mine and her first podcast episode went up this morning well it was up when i got up anyway <laughs> and it's knit and sew 28 put it across the screen for you and she gives you a day in her life and i tell you what oh her little dog is so cute and that was his birthday on the day that she recorded which was lovely and um she is a knitter and also absolutely beautiful little um uh beginner's you know episode you know a beginning episode absolutely brilliant so yeah anyone that would like to um go over and say hello to her and um you know obviously uh, subscribe and give her a like uh, so it's knit and so 28 podcast so please hop over and um, you know give her a look <laughs> absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant okay then right so as I said it's going to be a quick one today basically because I did one Friday and also I did one on Christmas day as well so I'm off I'm going downstairs it is five past eleven and I am going to be going downstairs. I've got some things to, paperwork to do and some things to um, sort out and then get my wheel out for a bit, I think. And then this afternoon, I've got a lovely chit chat with a special friend, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Okay, then, right then. So I will see you all on Monday, which will be then the 10th. Doesn't seem possible. That will be like half the month gone already. <laughs> so, yeah, I will see you next Monday. So please take care. Stay safe and as always, happy crafting. Bye.